So you've decided to take part in November, which is great news. I'm going to teach you all you need to know about your mum. To get the best possible shave, always shave during or after the bath or shower to make sure the hairs are softer. Always use a good quality shave prep to soften the skin and prepare it for the blade. Avoid ingrown hairs by shaving in the same direction as your hair grows, especially if you've got curly beard hair. Make sure you use a razor which takes care of your skin while you shave. This will prevent rashes, ingrown hairs and nasty nicks and cuts. The key to getting the perfect shave is to reduce irritation and hydrate the skin with every stroke. For a closer, smoother shave, use a razor with skin guards to smooth out the skin during the shave. A razor like I'm using today with a hydrating gel reservoir provides superior moisturisation. If you have sensitive skin, avoid using aftershaves which contain alcohol as they can dry out your skin. Instead, moisturise your skin with an aftershave balm like this one which contains vitamin E and cocoa butter to soothe the skin. Once you've been growing your mow for a week or two, you should be in a position to start some mow styling. But there's a couple of rules to follow. No joining your mow to your sideburns because that's considered a beard. And no joining your handlebars to your chin because that's considered a goatee. To help you get started, here's a couple of mow designs for you to try. The Connoisseur. The Rascal. The Maverick. The Eccentric. The Visionary. Well, Nick opted for the Visionary. Um, he had a week's worth of beard growth, which I took down with the trimmer first of all. I then clean shaved him um, to get the face really, really smooth. And then I used the trimmer at the very end just to line out the shape of the visionary. So there you go. All you need is style with pride this November. So have a go. Grow a mo.